Hey, Ashley, glad to have you again back here on, uh, on our show, trying to help other tutors with their business. Now, you have found a really cool way to be able to capture people's emails uh, using the Wix system. Now, I've always used Wix.com to be able to create my websites because it's easy, it's drag and drop simple. Um, and when I got started, they didn't have an email um, list system built right on into it. Um, for those of you who are wondering what in the world that is, an autoresponder system allows people who come to your website to be sent a series of emails once they fill out their name and their information for your freebie. And this is all built now inside of Wix. So Ashley, I've, I've invited Ashley here to show us exactly how that works. Yes. So is it right if I share my screen? Would that be the I best? I would love it. Yes, that would be the best. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So like you, when I first um, started using Wix to build my website, I didn't really know that they had any of this either. Like I just went onto my website. And so when I started talking with you about building an email, um, uh, automated emails and a, an email list, I, I just went with something I knew about from the past, another service, but I was really struggling to, to connect Wix. And so I started just looking around on Wix and, and learning more about this service. And I came across, I came across their website or their email stuff. So um, you have in your dashboard, they have under marketing tools, mm -hmm. um, they have email marketing. There it is. Mm -hmm. So you can go into their email marketing and it allows you to create your different um, automated emails. And I'm actually going to grab, I have another, just have another one open over here that I want to pull over. Okay. So this is the automation page. Mm -hmm. um, and this shows, these are the ones I've already created that are active. Okay. And it's really simple to create a new one. You click create new automation and you can decide when you want the email to go out. So if it's, if they submit a form or subscribe to your mailing list, just logging onto your site, um, any of these options. So I'm just going to pick con the contact form and then you can choose what happens after they do that. So after they submit in your contact form, do you, do they get an email or do you get an email? So we want to be sending emails. Um, and then you can, add in your own, like what you want it to say when they get the email from you and what the reply email is. And then um, down here, you can create your email. So they have templates mm -hmm. that you can edit. Um, and they're, they're, it's all pretty simple, like drag and drop. So I found it really easy to use over here on the side. You can add text, images, I mean, anything, your logo, you can add a video, music, links. It's all. Oh, in wow. There. Very cool. Yeah. Um, let's see what, the, oh, you can change the colors of, of the email. So you can add whatever. So let's say we want to add an image. So you can pick, so I want to put, maybe I want to put my logo in here. Mm -hmm. You just click, it drops it right in. You can, uh, you can change the size of it. You can, when people click on the picture, you it can take them like to your website. So you could add a link there, Ah, nice, which is really cool. And uh -huh. then all of this text is you're able to edit. It has a little toolbar here so you can change the color, the size. You can add in like a list if you wanted to create, you know, top, top five reasons why online tutoring is the way to go or you know, whatever your email is that you're sending out. You can, you can really do a lot with it. I feel like you can change mm -hmm. your button down here. You can add your um, contact information and your social media links are in here. Um, so that I think is pretty pretty easy and then you click save and continue and then so a time when you want it to go out so I really like this feature because you can have it sent immediately that day when they sign up for your website or if you have a set time like after seven days 30 days but also at first I was going through these thinking well how am I going to do like I want them to get one a day for a week and I can yeah. at first I didn't notice that at the bottom you can customize so you could say like you know three days after um you know, after three days of submitting their contact form, you can send it. And so you can set them up and then you can say, you know, how many times you want them to get it. And then you would just click activate and that would mm -hmm. activate for you. And then it's pretty neat. Um, let's see in automations. It, I like that it shows you how many times it's been triggered. So how many times ah. it's been sent out and when the most sure. recent 
one is and it's really easy if for some reason you don't want it to go out anymore you can turn it off really easily sure. there. Um, and then they do give you some suggestions too so for a brand new tutor like myself or a brand new business owner um, they they give you these suggestions for things that you might want to send out to your new people to create mm -hmm. so yeah, that's pretty much the basics just of it, I think. Yeah, and then you, it seems like here with the, with this, you can create as many of these as you, as you want. So not everybody, like every time they sign up for a list, are they going to get the same exact automation? You can set it up to be a different brand new automation. Like if you had a different freebie on your blog, you could set it up so they get onto a different email list. Um, yes. And they receive that freebie. And then whenever you want to add them onto another email, can you move uh, people onto different email lists at all? Or So I'm um, definitely, I'm still learning about the lists, I would say. But I okay. imagine that you could be able to. And I wanted to show you, they have this other feature called Shout Out. Um, mm -hmm. which is something I just started learning about. And I noticed here, so I, have a, I do have a paid membership for my website. Um, and it says that you have, that I have five out of five um, shout outs left. So I think this is like a specific, like an email burst kind of thing. Sure. That, yes. That, that also goes out to like your social media. Yeah. They call them broadcasts in a Weber and in the Kajabi one I use. Mm -hmm. oh, great. So even those are available. And, um, and it also tells you how many emails you can send based on your plan. So you do have a, some limitation, but 9,500 emails, like I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, probably, probably good. Yep, for, for now. No problem anyway, with that. No now. problem with that. Awesome. That is really, that's really helpful to, to know that it's so easy to set up. And so if you all are wanting to uh, get your own URL instead of having Wix's URL, mm -hmm. uh, you do have to move to a paid version. So you can have like a free account, but they're going to give you like one of those with like lots of numbers and letters and all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't make it easy for people to then easily click on yours. Whereas you have a nice name for yours, your reading tutor. So if people want to find out more about you, they can go to yourreadingtutor.com. Um, people who have that paid premium feature get this email already built in. So if you already have Wix and you have the premium, this is a free feature for you um, because it's already built on into that. So that's really, really awesome. I'm, I'm going to start utilizing mine uh, more. I had moved on over to a new system and I just think it's really cool to be able to keep it all right on inside of there. That'll be awesome. Yes. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks for showing us how easy that is. I love it. Uh, I'm glad that it doesn't, and it doesn't have to be as uh, complicated as sometimes what we think it's going to be. And it was really super simple for you. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.